Hello, this is Warren Murphy again. Today I am going to talk to you about Donald Trump. Okay, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Okay, Donald Trump. He's trying to put sanctions on U.S. companies that are here in Canada so we can avoid what's happening in the U.S., I believe. So we can avoid what's happening in the United States of America. America, because of the uh, trial that, that, he's, uh, that he's doing. Because of the investigation of the U.S. Senate. Because of the investigation. Then he goes on Twitter and decides, uh, decides that to tweet about it and to get all mad and pissed off. It's not helping the situation out as U.S. President. He's not going to be helping the situation out as U.S. President. And he's not going to help... Anything else out as U.S. <clears throat> as U.S. President, and the fact is that Donald Trump likes to rage on Twitter. If he this can stop raging on Twitter, and stop raging on Twitter, and stop doing this and that on Twitter, this maybe people will leave him alone. And he just he decides to rage on Twitter. If he this lets it go on Twitter and not and don't rage on and don't rage on Twitter, then everything's going to be okay with him. But instead, he decides to rage on Twitter and tells us to ban on and those love the sign. There's no tapes on Twitter. For all of you Americans that voted for Donald Trump and that watch me on YouTube, I hope. I hope there's a bunch of Americans that watch me on YouTube. That watches my channel on YouTube. I hope that you realize that Donald Trump wasn't the best U.S. president in the world. Why do you think he signed so many orders? He doesn't care about the U.S. He only cares about one thing, making money for himself and making himself rich. And making himself rich again. Again, when, when he gets out of office, he'll be even more wealthier than he was in, when he was in office. So today, to, I am going to talk to you about Donald, not Donald Trump anymore, but, but, but I'm going to talk to you about President Obama. President Obama was one of the one of the best people for the United States of America and the America, the world got it, but not the United States of America. The the United States of America, being the United States of America, born him in. You know what? You know what? I was really excited to see a black man coming to power, and when the end of the term ended up, when President Trump went, uh, when Obama's end of the term ended up. And then I was shocked and amazed that when Donald Trump got in. He's not the U.S. president. I'm not even going to call him Donald President Trump. He's a president-elect moron. That's why I am concerned. And that the fact is with Donald Trump is that he's not going to be in. And I never thought that... I think Russia played with the computer somehow. And Russia also played with the computer somehow. And they did all sorts of things. Now I have to think about what I'm going to say again. Okay, about President Obama, about the best president in the United States of America that the Americans couldn't get, but the rest of the world got, is that the fact is that President Obama was, uh, I've been told, he was the nicest man to talk to. He was a nice man. He was an okay guy. Guy, he was really, really nice. Nice to talk to. He was an okay guy. He, he liked the, the U.S. He liked the president being the president. The Americans didn't get really get what he was after, but the rest of the world did. Okay, the free health care bill. Donald Trump wants to disbar the free health care bill, bill and decides to vote the free health care bill, bill. That's the biggest mistake that they could have ever made. And some people that are on the free health care, the free health care bill, voted for that man, and now they're regretting that they voted for this guy. I don't know what the hell were their thing. He fed them all the information that they wanted, and all the information that they want. Um, I also said this on my, on my all, on my other videos, that the, that they fed him all the information that he wanted, and that they fed him all sorts of information that they wanted, and all sorts of information that, uh, that they wanted and all sorts of information that uh, the American, well, I guess the G8, the G8, the European Union, the uh, NAFTA agreement, and, and all this crap, and all that crap, and all this crap again, and all the same. 
He finds out if he wants to give jobs, he has to stay in NAFTA. It would be, I think, if he gets out of NAFTA, it would be a big mistake for the United States of America. It would be an even bigger mistake to get out of the UN, and it would be an even bigger mistake to get out of the G7. Yeah, I heard that not only did Donald Trump was out of the G7, I also heard that Donald Trump was drunk when he was in the G7. He was, he was behaving less than stupidity. Stupidity, the man is stupid, he's a moron, he's a dork, he's an idiot, he's an idiot, and the people, and some Americans voted for him. The vote, the guy that that they voted for was stupid as hell, as hell, and that, I think that's my opinion. How, how in the hell does anybody like him? I've watched, I've watched him, most Canadians say he's doing a good job. I don't think so. All he wants to do is to get himself rich and nobody else rich except himself. For his daughter and his son, that ended up as the president's advisor and the president's assistant advisor, all of a sudden it's now it's 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 now a big deal? Why the hell didn't they do something when they started it in the first beginning? Because this guy was a billionaire and nobody was Nobody could challenge him. And Saudi Arabia, West Roper said, oh, there was no protest. They had protest, you idiot. It's a, not a democratic country. If they tried to protest, if they tried to protest, they'd get their ass, they'd get their asses all kicked. They'd get, what West Roper, so uh, Donald Trump wants to do the medieval torture to the ace. That's what would happen in Syria. The medieval torture to the gay would happen in Syria what happened in Syria? So Syria was the he put the medieval tortures to the gate. What happens in Syria? Was uh, waterboarding and uh, drowning and all the stuff that Donald Trump would want to do with the gay to the gays in the U.S. That in Syria happens. Syria does the waterboarding, the drownings, the killings, the everything else that Donald Trump wants to do to the gay people. And you know something? The man's a twit. If he gets to, if he keeps off of Twitter, he keeps off of social media, the man would do okay. But being Donald Trump, Trump, he's too stupid to get off of social media. He's too dumb to realize everything has to revolve around him. He doesn't want anybody, all of these U.S., excuse me, all of these world, all of these U.S. world leaders, he thinks has to come to him and has to kiss his and has to kiss his rear end and has to go do this and that and that and everything else. I hope Donald Trump goes to London, England and gets booed and gets booed booed because they know he's not a good president. Now the United States of America is now realizing, oh crap, we just elected a dimwit. Congratulations, guys. Enjoy this video. Congratulations on the United States of America. Enjoy this video. Thank you very much for watching my channel. Goodbye.